Hey everybody, it's Angela, and I have done a file folder mini that I wanted to share, and I did it based on this class in a box kit that I got from Hot Off the Press, and here is the file folder mini, and they had a honeydew theme going for this that, um, just wasn't what I wanted to do. So I wound up using the supplies and everything from this and then combining it with a page kit. Um, and it was just scraps of a leftover page kit that I had. And I don't know who the manufacturer was, but I had some scraps of paper left from it, some of these dimensional stickers, and a packet of rub-ons. So between the class in a box and the page kit, that's pretty much most of the supplies that I used for it. And so here's the file folder mini. Move this out of the way. And um, on the front, I use some of the rub-ons, and it just says, like, remember, it has a bird. This metal clock, I don't know who manufactures this. It was included in the class in a box kit. And here's some of the dimensional stickers. And I used a little bit of green um, glitter glue just to give it a little bit of a shine and some fibers and some flat back um, green pearls on there. So that's the front and that right now I've got it closed with just this clip and I'm going to put some more fibers on this. I actually made this mini while I was away from home so I only had a certain amount of supplies and photos to to use in it so I'm going to add more now that I've gotten home but I, I just wanted to share it. Um, so I did the folder and you open it up and because it's a file folder mini it's kind of the perfect height for brochures so if you are like me and pick up brochures and stuff uh, this is a, a good way to use them and uh, what I did was I used each pocket has a brochure from a different trip that my husband and I have taken uh, this brochure is from Hotel Diamond uh, which is Diamond, Oregon, it's in Central Oregon and the back is pretty blank so I'm going to actually print out some more photos and put on the back of this but while I was traveling I did have this photo of me metal detecting out in the desert and I've got a rub on here and um, one of the dimensional stickers and then here is another uh, photo from Diamond Oregon of an old post office general store. I guess it had been a lot of different things throughout its life, but um, I have a couple rub-ons, a rub-on along the bottom here, and this bird, and then I just put a silk flower with a um, jewel brad in the center. And then this second pocket has a brochure from Wallawa Lake, and that is in northeastern Oregon. And it didn't really have anything on the back except a bunch of phone numbers and stuff. So I actually um, just matted some cardstock. And then I'm going to put some of my own photos on the back. But I have a couple rub-ons here that I included. And so I didn't actually have any of my own photos from this trip with me. But I did have this, um, like it was a travel advertising magazine and it had some of the places that we had been. It had this picture of the B&B &B that we stayed at and then we also took the Eagle Cap excursion train and um, we rode on the tram while we were there. So I just cut the pictures out from the the advertising and put those and then like I said I'll put some of my own photos on the back of the um, brochure uh, layout. So that way I'll have some of my own photos and then I just put some more rub-ons and stuff on there and all these three papers came from the page kit this yellow paper was from the the class in a box kit this third flap I have a brochure for uh, historic gold mining in Douglas County that's in southern Oregon and again down here where it says credits there's not much um, pertinent information. I'm going to put a big photo over that. And then I had a few photos. Um, one is of the sign talking about the historical China Ditch, which is how they brought water to use their hydraulic mining machinery back in the early 1900s. 
and here is a portion you can see some of the what's left of the china ditch today and some of the um, pipes that they use to bring the water to the hydraulic mining machines and then there's me in the Umpqua River uh, panning for gold and I did find some I got some placer gold um, then this last pocket I have a brochure from Bandon, Oregon from the uh, Coquille River Lighthouse and again on the back there's not much pertinent information so I'm going to put photos all on the back and then I have a photo of my husband and I at the beach there at Bandon. I have um, this picture of the Bandon Lighthouse that I took. I've got some rub-ons on the top and bottom and a rub-on up here and I had some extra photos so I did uh, this one when we made a campfire on the beach and the sand dunes and I left this one blank because I'm going to journal on here about the dunes. We took an epic hike on these dunes, I mean for hours and we saw coyote and, and all kinds of stuff so I wanted to have a place to journal about that and then here's a picture I took of waves um, crashing on some old pilings at Bandon. You can just see the Bandon lighthouse across the river in the distance. So I've got that kind of insert in here and I might make a few more inserts, you know, more pictures to put in. I'll see what I've got and what I can print out. And then on the back I've just got a few more rub-ons. Actually I used all the rub-ons. Rub um, I challenged myself to just get rid of all the rub-ons so um, I used those all up. And I just lined, this is the class in a box paper, and I just lined the back. I didn't do anything with the back. And so that's my little file folder mini. And like I said, it works great for brochures. Let me show you how it's made. Um, you just take a file folder and you score it three inches from the bottom, and then you flip that up, and that's what becomes the pockets. And then you score it four and three-eighths from the center fold and then four and three-eighths from the center fold on the other side and accordion fold those and that's um, how you make the mini. It's, I mean it's really simple and it's definitely something you know I'll do again in the future. It was um, a fast project, simple and a great way to use up those brochures. So anyhow I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.